As a chef, I don't often get to get out of my kitchen and do anything like hunting or fishing as often as maybe I'd like. So uh, for me to actually see the wild side of where our food comes from was a real interesting experience. 50 years ago, there were lots of pheasants in this area and then the pheasant population really took a nosedive. So working with Alberta Conservation Association and releasing pheasants, it's a slow process, but we are getting them back into the country. There have been two years now on my site of natural nesting and natural broods. Pheasants are a really showy bird, and many people in southern Alberta, well all across Alberta, really connect with them in some way but they're just one piece of the puzzle. And in fact, they're something that really helps us as an organization maybe to start talking to landowners that are interested in working with wildlife. If they have pheasants on their property, they're, they're likely going to be interested in them, but it's just the first step in the game for us. Uh, for the Tabor Pheasant Festival, we have 40 release sites and they're all within about one hour of Tabor. Of course, the, the whole purpose is to bring a lot of people to the town of Tabor. To, but this whole event also is to draw a lot of attention to uh, habitat conservation needs throughout the south as well. A lot of the hunters out there, they, they get to come out experience this landscape and get an appreciation of what it's like to have a nice site like this to come and, and hunt. And we're hoping we could reach out to a lot, of, a lot of people out there and a lot of new hunters as well. We bring them over to the shotgun trailer, the range. We will uh, we'll get them comfortable with holding a firearm, holding a shotgun. Uh, we'll give them an idea of what the target is going to look like when it comes out of the trailer. We just want to build up their confidence so that when they're out in the field, uh, they know they're going to bring down a bird. And we just want to incorporate as much safety as possible. The uh, hunters are out there with a mentor. So the mentor is an experienced person who has hunted pheasants in the past and they have a good understanding of, of what the pheasants are going to do and where they're going to fly. The hunter is able to uh, use the mentor's experience to become successful. Everybody leaves with a bird today, 100% success, yeah, we're very happy about that. Things come go in circles and I think in, in these circles things get a little bit lost or forgotten but we have to get back to the whole nose to tail and utilizing the whole, the whole animal and what I've learned about this is uh, uh, the conservation of wildlife but you're also building the ecosystems, habitats and on top of that you're, you're growing the economy in the area. We're quite happy that the festival brings in 700 guests that we have. The hunters spend time in Tabor and uh, rel about three days of stay of time that they spend in our community and the economic benefit from that to the community is enormous. So that means that they come and they stay overnight in our hotels and they use our restaurants and eat their meals here. And so it's just an added bonus to our community. What I was expecting and what I found here in Tabor was actually a really passionate conservationists who want to see the species come back. And so for me, getting a chance to engage with them and maybe be part of the legacy that they're trying to provide for their children um, with regards to this beautiful uh, wild bird was really inspiring. The Tabor Pheasant Festival is important to conservation in Alberta because it really serves as a lightning rod, if you will, to get people's attention and uh, attract them to a signature event which gets them, in the case of the novice hunt, to try it for the first time, introduce people to hunting and all the other aspects that go along with it, including conservation of habitat. But it also serves to reconnect people as families as well as with getting outside as a family and enjoying the pastime of hunting. These kinds of projects benefit uh, a multitude of wildlife species out here in southern Alberta. So if we can continue with that uh, program, um, I think there, there is potential to develop more habitat, change the ways of uh, farming practices where people might just think a little bit about the wildlife that could be on their place and adjust their farming practices accordingly. I would like to see more landowners doing what I'm doing. When I first started it in 2013, a lot of the neighbors would say, why are you taking this land out of agriculture production? They just couldn't quite understand it. But in the last couple of years, I've had more 
landowners come and ask to see the site and what's been done and who they can contact. It was interesting for me as a chef to come to Tabor and do a demo with pheasant because anytime you can experience a product at its source, at its freshest, um, it gives you a really unique opportunity to serve something that really is at the peak. So you're actually serving some of the best food you can. What I think I could come uh, bring to the table as a chef uh, as part of it is just knowledge of what to do, how to, how to cook the animal and, and just learn about the whole process and whatnot. And just, I think it just adds a different element to the whole hunting experience. Yeah, there's the hunting, the camaraderie, but I think you have to, to finish it off with uh, utilizing the birds properly and, and just spreading knowledge.